Welcome to the FEMAP version 11.1 .1 What's New video series. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the new enhancements that support Nastran capabilities. Pyramid elements, used for transitional meshes, are supported in FEMAP 11.1 .1 for read and write operations. While creation of the pyramid elements is manual, there is access through the API. The Executive and Solutions dialog includes an option to enter a base file name, which will be used to name the analysis files, along with a numeric appendix attached. This allows you the freedom to name your analysis file sets individually, aiding analysis identification and overall workflow. Support of Nastran's restart technology has been enhanced in FEMAP 11.1. You can now opt to perform read-only restarts which will access the Nastran databases but leave them unaltered after the analysis has completed. You can also specify the particular model version and subcase ID from which to restart an analysis. FEMAP 11.1 .1 includes support of design optimization with normal modes analysis, so designs can be optimized to modify or avoid certain critical natural vibration frequencies. You can specify a mode frequency or eigenvalue to be set up as a design constraint. There is also a mode tracking option that switches on cross-orthogonality checking to track the desired mode as the model changes and updates. FEMAP 11.1 .1 can display RMS von Mises output for random analyses. Stresses are calculated using the Sandia Labs method. Also, transient response composite supply results are now available. You can review stress strain output for individual laminae or smear it across the laminate at each output step. When setting up loads and constraints, FEMAP 11.1 .1 now displays combined load and constraint sets for the Nastran load and SPC MPC constraint set combinations, making it easier to verify correct load combination. To find out more, visit us at siemens.com slash plm slash femap or call your local channel partner.